Now, that's a tough act to follow all these good preachers in here. But I'll tell you what, if we was having a contest on the ugliest preacher, I'd win. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear that? They're out there praying with him. God is Amen. good. Amen. That's what, Woo! that's what follow the Christ is supposed to do. Amen. Amen. Man, if that don't bless your heart, man, like the brother said, you would quit. But, but if you would tonight, if you would turn in your Bibles to uh, Psalm, uh, Psalm number one. Uh, Psalm number one. I'm going to try not to be long tonight. Uh, uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, tonight I wanted to come and preach out of Matthew 14. And I see why God made me change my mind. Uh, but uh, uh, Psalm, chap uh, Psalm chapter number 1, and we're going to start reading in verse number 1. Blessed is, a, blessed is the man that walk in, uh, walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor uh, standeth in the way of sinners, yep. nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Yes. Yes. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Yes. And in his law doeth uh, uh, the multi uh, uh, doeth he meditate day and night. Yes. And he shall be like an, like a tree planted by. The river of water. Yes. That bringeth forth fruit in its in his season. His uh, leaf also shall not wither. Uh, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Yes. Let us pray. Mighty grace yes. heavenly Father. Lord God, we thank you for tonight. Lord God, we thank you for how good you are to us. Lord God, I ask you to bless that man sitting outside. Yes. God, Lord God, if, Lord God, I beg you, Lord, if it's needed, Lord God, I ask that you uh, bring it, bring salvation. Lord God, we thank you for how good you are. Lord God, we thank you for that river. Lord God, we thank you. Yes. Lord God, I ask you to preach me tonight, Lord God, as you've never preached me before, as dying as a dying man to dying people, and we love you and praise you and thank you in Jesus' name, Amen. 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 The, the first thing we need to look at tonight about about this about this this issue of this river. About this man that is uh, that this about this tree that's planted by the river, and the first thing that the, this man uh, blessed is uh, blessed is a man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, yeah, nor yes. standeth in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scorn of the scornful. Yes, the word seat right there is it's a place of abode. Yeah. Right, it means it's a place where they, that the man is staying constantly. Yep. It's not a place where he comes and sit down for a little while. Yes. It's a place where he abides. Yes. It's a place where he stays for an extended yes. period of time. Right. And, the, and the word scornful, it means to move the mouth, mock, or talk. You're right. Let me tell you tonight, there's so many Christians, there's too many Christians that sit oh, in the seat yes. and scornful. Yes. And the Bible tells us that blessed is the yes. man that doesn't do that. The right. blessed is the man that does not walk in the uh, counsel of the ungodly. Yes. Right. But I like verse number three right there. He says, he shall be like a tree planted Amen. by, by the, the river, river. Uh, by the rivers of water. Amen. Let me tell you about this river right Amen. here. This river right here. In Ezekiel chapter number 37. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on now. <laughs> the Bible talks about a river. Yes, it does. The Bible talks about a river. He said that uh, Ezekiel there is at, at the house house of God. And he goes out of the house of God. And right there he sees a river. Yes. He says he goes, the Bible says he goes out about 500, uh, about 500 yards. <laughs> and it's up to his ankles. Yep. yep. He goes out another 500 yards. And it's up to his knees. He goes out another 500 yards and it's up to his loins. Yeah. He goes out another another 500 yards and the Bible says that the wa it's waters to swim in. A river that could not be passed. Let me tell you tonight, so many people go out the first 500 yards oh, and they, right? and they roll in it yeah. so they look like they went out the whole yes. way. They get out in that water. And they want to roll around yeah. and they want to sit down and, yeah. and they want to stay there. Yeah. Right? They don't want to go no further. Yeah. They don't want to go no deeper. Right? Because they're scared. Because yeah. they are so afraid. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're so afraid right. to get.
get in. Amen. 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 They want to hold back. Christians, yeah. we want to hold back today. We want. We don't want to get in that deep water. Let yes. me tell you tonight that Jesus, oh God, yes. Jesus has got something so much better for you. <laughs> Jesus has got something better for you. You're right, preacher. Yes. The Bible, see, the first thing we see about this river is this river has a supply. Yes. Oh, yes. In Psalm 37, I have been young and I and now I'm old. Yes. Uh, yet have I uh, seen, not seen the righteous forsaken nor uh, his seed begging bread. Let me tell you, right. if you get out of that river, if you'll be willing to set your pride aside and just surrender your life yes. to our, my Savior, Lord yes. That Jesus has a river that will submerge. Yes, you. Yes, amen. The next thing we see about this river, this river has a source. Yes. This river has a source. John chapter 4, verse number 13 and 14, the Bible says, Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh uh, of this water yes. shall thirst again. Yes. Jesus was referring to the water and the well, the well of Jacob. Yeah. He said, whosoever drinketh of this water yep. shall thirst again. That's right. You're right. But I praise the Lord that the Bible does not stop right there. The Bible keeps yeah. on going. Uh, the Bible says, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I give, uh, give him shall never thirst. You're right. But the water that I shall give him uh, shall be in him a well uh, wells of water springing up into everlasting life. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Hey. Let me tell you, Bless Bless Jesus you. was on the wrong side of the track right there. Let me tell you, the Bible tells us to, Jesus told us to preach in Jerusalem, Judea, yes. Samaria, yes. yes, and to the uttermost parts of the That's world. That's right. right. Amen. There, Jesus is in Samaria. Now, we don't have any problem witnessing to the people in Jerusalem. Yeah. Right. That's, that's in the people that are close to you. Yeah. That's right. That's the people that are, that are yes. like-minded to you. Yes. That's the people that are in your neighborhood. Yeah. Yes. We don't have a problem going to Judea. Yeah. Right. Those are the people that, you know, they might not be just uh, quite as religious as we are. Yeah. They might be a little a little less uh, a little less sophisticated than we are. Yeah. All right. But we don't have a problem going yeah. to Judea. Let me tell you, Jesus was in Samaria. Jesus was on the other yes. side. Jesus was in Draper. Right. Jesus was in downtown Reedsville. Yes. Yes. Jesus right. was in Greensboro. Amen. Let me tell you, we need to be willing to go to yes, sir. Yes. We need to be willing to go to the other side of that track. Right. We need to be willing to go to, to a place that we don't feel comfortable. Amen. 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 You're right. Amen. You're right. Hallelujah. The next thing we see about this river, this river is not the same. And I'm going to try to go quick, I promise. But this river is not the same. See, uh, a man named Naaman. A man named Naaman in, 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 in 2 Kings chapter number 5. There, he, he came to be healed by the prophet. And he went in, the Bible says, that, that, uh, that he went to the prophet's house. And, he, and uh, Elijah uh, sent his messenger unto him and said, Go, wash in the Jordan seven times. And thy flesh shall come again uh, to thee, and thou shalt be clean. And then Jesus, you know what? Naaman got mad. Yeah. Naaman got mad. He said, "I thought." Oh yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah. That we get in trouble. Get ourselves in trouble when we think. We get ourselves in trouble when we think. We say, "God, I thought you were going to do this, yeah. or I thought you should have done this." Yeah. Let me tell you, this river is not the same. This river is not the same as, as the rivers of this world and the rivers of this yeah. life. It's not the same as the Jordan River. It's right. different. Yeah. It's right. And the Bible tells us that Naaman Come repented. On, right, right. Naaman repented and went and washed and he became clean. And the last thing we see, I promise I'm, I'm trying to finish up. Uh, the last thing we see about this river is this river can be dammed. Yep. Yes. You're right. This river can be dammed. And Psalm 66, verse number 18, if, oh, yeah. <laughs> if I regard iniquity in my heart, yep. the Lord will not hear me. Right. And the book of 1 John, the epistle of 1 John, chapter 1, verse number 9, the Bible says, 
if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Amen. And he cleanse, uh, cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Amen. As, as the uh, man of God steps up here tonight, I ask you tonight, please, please don't hold iniquity in your heart. Please. Amen. Right. Amen. Don't guard sin in your heart. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, I beg you today to be the day of salvation. Yes. Amen.